Hey, what's going on, my tatt- little title tales? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Courtney Kardashian, you are having a very, very happy birthday. Surrounded by the love of your life and your little stepkids and children that love you so much. However, if you are Courtney Kardashian, you want everybody to know on Courtney's birthday that you guys aren't as close as you need to be. I swear to God, Courtney, Chloe needs an award for always centering herself in the middle of I would say she has main character complex but the main character in a movie called me is victim literally how did you sit to yourself on Courtney's birthday and want everybody to want to confirm the rumors that y'all aren't close anymore while sitting there Pat you literally gave like an ode to the world of Kim how she changed your life Christian I mean that's your mommy Rob how this and that and Courtney yeah we're gonna get into that it was just so unnecessary and petty and why right girl worry about where, Tr- where Tristan is oh we already know at the after party for his first game with the Lakers even though he stayed on the bench the whole game literally he, Tristan is at this point is he playing next game because at this point he is literally a glorified cheerleader also Scott doesn't seem to be too happy either instead of posting any tribute to Courtney on her birthday he literally posted well, I'm gonna show y'all what he posted in a minute and as of now Miss Kimberly Kardashian family over everything social justice warrior blah 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 has not posted anything about Courtney's birthday now I understand right Oh my God, give her a break. Yeah, we give people who don't live on social media a break. We give people that don't know, that, don't know um, that their curated life is something people watch to see if there's any drama, right? Kim, let's see if Courtney gets a birthday tribute before Tristan did. I think Tristan got a birthday tribute um, before midnight, but let's see what the birthday tribute, what it says. Again, This has to be purposeful. Let's not forget, Kim isn't just her assistant, right? Her manager is her mother. Her assistants do everything for her when it comes to social media posts. Kim just has to approve it. So that I'm pretty sure somebody on the social media post, even if Kim didn't want to write it, would have been like, how's this sound? And Kim just has to approve it. Even if Kim didn't want to write it, it's your sister, it's her birthday. She's had the biggest year of her life. And you haven't posted anything yet. And at this time, it's what time over in California? Yeah, don't worry about it, guys. I'm sure Kim will get around to it right after she lets us know that she's not feeling Chloe like that. But you know what? That's cool because we're not really feeling Kim right now either. Y'all, let's get into it. Or is she going to treat Chloe, uh, Courtney's birthday um, like she did Courtney's wedding and keep it off her main feed unless she posted pictures of her in her outfits, y'all? Let's get into this because you cannot make this up. First of all, let's talk about Scott and the way he ridiculously posted. Instead of posting anything, he put out the new general tires. (laughs) He posted an ad for tires. Now, a lot of people think this is shade to Courtney's, you know, or shade to him saying, yeah, we're going to keep on take a look and keep on getting. I don't know. I just know that it is hilarious. Again, I think we can pretty much assume that Scott is not in a good place with Courtney or Travis. That's why he posted a tire, a tire ad instead of a birthday post. Now getting into Miss, um, Miss, uh, Chloe, cause this is the one where I'm like, Chloe, you know, and this is my issue with Chloe, Chloe, if you are not feeling, um, if you are not feeling at all, Courtney, and it's fair to say you're not, you don't even want your kids over there, right? If you are not uh, feeling Chloe, Courtney, then why are you even bothering with this? At least Kim has the courage of her evic- convictions and be like, I'll mess with her, right? But, but, but you know, Chloe, she want to play both sides from the middle. She said, um, I've loved you before even knowing how to love. I have loved you since uh, the moment we met, right? And I have only loved you more with each day since. Funny how she keeps speaking in past tense, even though that's me being a stickler, right? Maybe it's the way she kept saying past tense, past tense. But you know what? Let's get into it because she actually does confirm that they are not cool at all. And she felt the need to put that in her birthday post, writing to her like a stranger. You'll, you will always be one of my best friend's favorite people in the scary world. But life doesn't seem as scary when we are facing it together. What would I do without you? Okay. You've been there through it all and I've never and I never want to go through a moment of this life without you. 
The laughter we sh- we've shared, will, I'll crave forever. The laughter we've shared, I'll crave forever. Again, this is all past tense. There's something about you and I. We are two peas in a pod. We go together like peanut butter and jelly. We are twin souls. Court, you're irreplaceable to me. It's hard to put into words the way I feel about you and our bond. Nothing will break you and I. My, but, and I find it odd. Hold on, we're getting to the juice. I find it odd that Chloe has beef with Courtney. All this stuff, blah, 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 won't let her kids go over to the house. But yet you are doing everything you can with your best friend, Tristan. How, what did Chloe Courtney actually do to you that was so much worse than what Tristan did? I just want to know, did she cheat on you while a surrogate was pregnant? Did she cheat on you while you were in labor? Did she mock, humiliate, degrade you? Did she make you the laughing stock and enable you to make your own self? I just want to know. I don't think she did any of these things, but you know, it goes without saying. These are things we need to talk about. Anyway, let's get back into this, okay? She says, um... My birthday wish for you is that this life becomes all that you want it to. Sounds like it already is. Your dreams stay big. Your worries stay small. And you never need to carry more than you can hold. My wish is that you continue to sparkle. You continue to live life just as you see it. I pray that the magic in you only gets stronger and that the fire of life I see in you never dims. Happy birthday to my Jane. Hold on, it's coming. You deserve every ounce of happiness, love, and blessings that you receive. Not even that. Not even that. You deserve every ounce of happiness, love, and blessings that you receive. Not that you receive. Because again, the way she keeps playing with past, present, and future tips, you deserve every ounce of happiness, love, and blessings that you receive. No, not, not, this is the time to say that you've received or that you, or I hope you continue to receive. It's basically saying that, yeah, what you put in is what you get out and you deserve it basically saying that she hasn't put in anything to get love and blessings she said you deserve only greatness in this world you are such a special soul i miss you i miss us wrestling and us being morons together but i guess we had to grow up at some point i don't understand listen chloe i know tristan is busy cheating on you so you have plenty of time but how are you acting like courtney really hurt you because she fell in love and she now has a new step family that adores her and her priority is her family like get out of here chloe why don't you leave a good american shoot and go over to courtney's house she's waiting for you how uh, how did you see her less now Then when y'all were both working like triple, triple jobs. Anyway, she goes on to say, I miss us wrestling and us being morons together. But I guess we had to grow up some at some point. I'm so happy for the love and life that you have found. I hope you know every single day just how much I can't live without you. She literally tried to act like Courtney abandoned her by falling in love. Courtney actually you know Courtney that Aries she was on her Aries bag she literally jumped in the comments and said your birthday present for me this year will be a wrestling match between us (laughs) yo you gotta love Courtney she literally read that mess and was like yeah I ain't with the ish or the giggles Courtney Courtney, shut up you're like I guess we had to grow up sometime you took a birthday post to your sister To confirm again all the rumors that you're not messing with her. This is really what you had to do. This is what was so important. Y'all, I can not with these people. I really honestly can't. This is what was so important. You had to own her birthday. You literally, you literally wrote a gushing poem of love, respect, and admiration to Tristan. Literally, it never stopped. And this is all Courtney gets guilted because she literally has something in her life that pulls her away from the family and the toxicity man listen a happy birthday to courtney kardashian may all her dreams continue to come true anyway y'all let me know what you think in the comments and i will talk to you later bye